A very good morning to all of you. I am Rasif Shah of the Comsic Semester and a moderator for the event Novice. I'm so delighted to welcome you all on this auspicious and marvelous entrepreneurial event Novice, Unleashing the Innovator in You. I would like to welcome our panel of judges, Ms. Payal, Ms. Asani, and Sir Lanuakam. Our Assistant Dean, School of Business, IT and Economics, Sir Amar Ranjinde, our IT Dean, our faculty members and all my fellow mates. We're all very interested and excited to see what you guys will give us, new innovations, new business plans, and new potential business tycoons too. I'm also excited to see the sheer innovativeness and entrepreneurship that we are going to witness today. Now, I would like to call upon Saama for the <coughs> mon, uh, what do you call it? the welcome note and a brief introduction about Novice. Okay, good morning everyone. Good morning, uh, so, I want to, I am actually very excited to see the, our future entrepreneur from these classrooms. So, I believe that many of us from this class, our students will come up uh, as a successful entrepreneur in the coming days. Actually, the, this Novus uh, is a think tank of the commerce and management departments. For last three months, we are planning, and even we have some more uh, plan in our pipelines. So maybe uh, this six semester they will not get that opportunity. Uh, even like for second and fourth semester. They will have in the coming days. We'll have more uh, platform. We'll create more platform for for you to expose your uh, potentials or like innovations and all in the coming days. Uh, we, uh, the, as a departments of commerce and management, that's so college from the beginnings. Uh, it's my ten year in this college. Uh, this year I completed ten years. So since joinings, uh, we are thinking as a teams to do some things uh, different. So in that uh, sense, like in 2016, we come up with an uh, event called Confesta, which become the, one of the biggest uh, events uh, for the commerce and management in Nagaland. So uh, at that time, uh, some of our teachers were there, like Sarlanu, uh, Ms. Hani, and some other teacher, Prasanjit and all, they were there in the very beginning, 2016. So now we saw like many uh, other institutions, commerce, uh, having the commercial com uh, commerce, they are also coming up with uh, similar type of events. So it's good. It's, it's happening. Some things uh, we are creating something for the our uh, commerce management. Even uh, some PCA students also we are thinking for that also. Uh, they are present here. Uh, actually, uh, uh, business. If you say it likes. Uh, uh, in our days, uh, when we graduated and all, uh, our teacher used to say like, uh, uh, get a good grades of marks and search for white color job, uh, jobs, good jobs. Uh, but thing is that uh, at the present times, we don't have that many opportunity to have jobs. Uh, we know the condition of our states, like NPS exams, uh, it's uh, like one person out of the total enrollments I think it's not one person or the below one person we can go for like NPSA and all. So uh, we as a commerce management and BCA department, we need to think differently. World is changing. See, we were in the agriculture age. At that point of time, who are the successful? Those who think of like uh, a better way of cultivations, better techniques of, in the agriculture fields, they were successful in that period. After that, comes the in, uh, industrial age. Mm -hmm. Employment is the products of uh, information, uh, industrial age. So we see many big, big company come up, then we got employment uh, opportunity and all. Like 2000, from 2000s, it's become the information age. And in this period, in this age, entrepreneur is the product of this age, actually. So, we need to think differently. It's not like uh, I'm not discouraging. It's like we, we should go for. You should not uh, do like uh, you should go for search for job and something like that. It's not wrong in doing that. So, but you need to think uh, differently because uh, 
business is something you should think uh, right now. Suppose is, uh, you need to uh, practically implement in your business. Okay, a very good morning to everyone. We are at Shumar.com and we are representing the BBS 6 semester. So these are the founders of Shumar.com, myself, Awin Chalim, and my co-founder, Mr. Sine. And these are the content of our presentation. First, we have introduction and business description, SWOT analysis, marketing and sales plan, financials, and sample of shoes. So first, we have introduction. So Shumart builds in uh, different qualities and different brands of footwear, like the first, first copy shoes, replica branded shoes, non-branded trendy shoes, and formal shoes. And we, we deal in 10A, 7A, and 5A qualities of shoes. And we are e-commerce best store and it is a partnership firm owned by me and my co-founder. Okay, why Shumart.com? Why only this shoe business? Okay, same. We have witnessed that in Indian market, the demand for the type of shoes we are dealing in it has been increased from time to time. And there are, according to the facts, there are only 0.5% of the people in India who, use the, who buys the original branded shoes. So because not everyone can afford it, it's very, uh, because it's costly, right? So, and another thing we have found out is that the price of the, uh, the type of shoes charged by the retailers out there is way too high as compared to what we get from the manufacturers or the wholesalers. And another thing is, though there are many, competi uh, though there are many competitors like the offline shoe retailers, the, in the trip sellers, the second and wallace, and the, re uh, the resellers, but the offline, those offline retailers, most of them does not have an on, on social media online presence. And the, the trip sellers, the, most of them, does, uh, the trip, trip sellers, they don't have the shoes of all categories and all sizes. And when it talks about the resellers, they are just a middleman doing the marketing for the, for the wholesalers or the retailers. So they don't have the product with them. So they cannot fully gain the trust of the customer. So, and we have, uh, and as of now, there is, there is very little to know about the big, big players to establish this, e uh, this shoe e-commerce brand in the state Nagaland and in the entire Northeast region. So by taking all this advantage, our business, the shoemart.com, aims to become the leading shoe e-commerce brand in the Northeast region and in the entire India. So by, by, by solving all these problems and filling up the gaps. So the, our business description, this is our logo, along with the brand name and the tagline, so our brand name is shoemart.com and our tagline is from our store to your feet. And our vision is to become the people's first choice and leading shoe e-commerce brand in India. And our mission is to deliver the best product, best customer experience and offer quality products at fair price. And our business objective is to create a sustainable and profitable organization to deliver quality and affordable product with great customer service so as to gain the trust and loyalty to implement effective marketing tactics so as to boost the sales, volume, profitability, and market shares of our enterprise. And we also want to become the leading shoe e-commerce brand in the India. And our, our business is a partnership firm owned by me and my co-founder, Mr. Sine, and our profit rate sharing ratio is 50 to 50. And it is a B2C model, business to consumer model. And our product and services. So we deal in the first copy shoes, replica branded shoes, and non-branded trendy shoes. And we also plan to deal in the formal shoes in the coming year. So the delivery, the delivery of the products within the states are uh, are delivered in four to five days, and within 48 to 72 hours in the district and in the neighboring district, and delivered within five to 12 business days in uh, all over India. So and we also provide reselling services to the students and unemployed youth so that they can earn as a part-time or earn money as a part-time or as a full-time. So this is why uh, this reselling service is also one of our USP. And our warehouse will be located at Ward 9, Chumukidima Town, Nagaland 797103. And this is our delivery package. Okay, let me show you the sample. Okay, this is a type of package that we will be using for the delivery of the shoes because it's yeah, it's printed in paper, but actually it should be printed in the uh, plastic itself. So, so because having a brand name and brand name and logo like this can create a brand value. And next we have the SWOT analysis of our business. 
So the strength of our business is experience in the shoe business industry. So I've been in this shoe reselling business for last seven to eight months. And so I have an experience and knowledge of, of this reselling, uh, this shoe business industry. And we also provide service to the resellers so it can boost our sales. And, and we are uh, and providing employment service to the students and unemployed youth of our state. And on, we have an online website store functioning 24 into 7 and business knowledge as me and my co-founder both of us from the business management background and I'm specialized in marketing and human resource management and my co-founder is specialized in finance and marketing management. And our weakness is lack of capital, hiring right people or employed, no physical store presence at the initial stage, lack of proper infrastructure, product not differentiated enough, cannot provide fully COD services. It comes with certain terms and conditions will come to know about it later. And the opportunities is that we have the first more advantage in online shoe e-commerce store and reasonable pricing than the competitors, wide range of customers as we are dealing it digitally and less or no player in the footwear e-commerce industry. And the threats are threats of entrance of new competitors and local competitors limited logistic company service in an area, and customer lack of trust, sometimes network issue in an area. And uh, the supplier of the shoes, uh, the, leading, the leading manufacturers and the shoe wholesalers are from, the, are from Delhi, Punjab, and Calcutta. So we'll be procuring our shoes from these steps. And we have a social media presence in Instagram, Facebook, and WhatsApp, WhatsApp business. And for the website development, we will be using the Shopify.com because the reason is that it is easy to use and does not require a very high tech knowledge in order to use this. And it also provides a lot of features for the, uh, for the drop shipping businesses like us. And marketing and sales plan. So for the type of our business to be successful, marketing is one of the key factors. So we have come up with well-structured marketing plan and strategies. So these are our prof uh, promotional strategies. First, we have the Content marketing in WhatsApp, Facebook, and Instagram, and influencer marketing, social media marketing, viral marketing, email marketing, word of mouth marketing, and true resellers. And the distribution technique for distribution of our product for delivery, we'll be using the delivery service companies like DTTC, Blue Dirt, eCard, Delivery, and Indian Post. And the, pay the payment options available are UPI, bank transfer, and COD, cash on delivery, which comes with certain terms and conditions. The terms and condition is that the customer has to pay rupees 250 in advance. The reason is that we, uh, we pay to the courier service in order to make the delivery. But if the, cust uh, if the customer does not receive the, uh, does not <coughs> pick the product from his delivery, delivery station, then it's our loss because we have paid the shipping charge. So this is the reason why we came up with terms and condition. And we are also going to maintain a CRM by keeping track of our customers. So we'll be providing a regular update of new arrivals and discount offers to our customers. And it will be done through WhatsApp, email, SMS, etc. And for customer service care, we provide a replacement warranty. For example, say if a customer receives a product and if there is any size issue, defect, or, or we deliver the wrong product by mistake, then we, we provide a replacement warranty. So so we provide a replacement warranty. So the customer has to make a 360 degree, 360 degree live recording video of that product and claim it within the one week of after receiving the parcel. And for customer loyalty, we also uh, for, we also provide a customer loyalty uh, with bonus, uh, with coupon bonus, sell uh, co bonus coupons, sell coupons, uh, or every time a customer makes a purchase from us or refer to other per, uh, other person will. Or when you refer to uh, the other person, they will get a discount on their purchase. And we uh, will be using the pricing strategies of penetration and leading pricing strategies and odd pricing strategies. And okay. And from now, my co-founder will take the slides. Okay, I'll carry on with the market segmentation. Under the market segmentation, we have demographic factors, geographical factors, behavioral factors, and uh, psycho psychographic factors. First, demographic factors. Under these factors, the showmark.com target the people who can get access to internet with the age range between 18 and 35, uh, because 
most of the buyers was under this age and they prefer this kind of shoes. Focus on younger audience, focus on male audience for now, and focus on lower and middle class income group. Under the geographic factors, these are the factors. It focus on developed areas. For rural areas, smartphone use crucial, digital sales or real world sales, and focus on customer all over India, especially the Northeast region. And these are the behavioral factors. Customer who prefer fair price products, customer who prefer online shopping, customer segmented by loyalty, customer who buys on occasions, and lastly, the, re the regular buyers. And under the uh, psychographic factors, people who click on recommended and suggested product the most, those who value customer care first, those who are interested in branded shoes, and those who have the hobby of shoe collection. Next we have marketing mix. These are the products that the shoemark.com deals with. First copy shoes like Woman, Nike, Adidas and all. Uh, replica branded shoes, non-branded branded shoes, promo and formal shoes. Uh, shoemark.com also provides replacement and return policy. This is the pricing strategy of Shumart.com. Benefiting pricing, leader pricing, and not pricing. Shumart.com also provides offer and discount pricing. Like example, uh, when a customer makes a payment to prepaid, uh, he or she will get 10% off. And these are the payment modes of uh, CMA, sorry. These are the payment modes for the Shumart.com. So it is through the UPI, to the bank transfer, and COJ. And this is the location of the Shumar.com. Warehouse store located at Jumu Gidima Nakalet, 797103. And the delivery is done all over India. Product will be available at company's website, Instagram, Facebook, and WhatsApp. The product of Shumar.com are being uh, promoted in this very social media platform like Instagram, WhatsApp, Facebook, emails, and all. Through the influencer marketing, through the digital marketing, through the word of mouth marketing, and through the B2B sellers. <laughs> Financials. This is the income statement for the next three years. First, uh, first year, rupees nine lakh sixty thousand sales with a net profit of fifty three thousand five hundred seventy five. And second, for the second year, rupees nine lakh twenty thousand sales with a net profit of. Six like fifty-six thousand seventy-five, and for the third year, thirty-two like sales with a net profit of uh, fourteen like fifty-eight thousand five hundred seventy-five. These are the source, sources of finance. Mr. Awen, rupees three legs, Mr. Sinai three legs, and for the bank loans three legs. These are the sample of shoes. First copy shoes, second copy shoes. Type of issues, non branded brand issues, formal issues. Thank you. Owen is a very nice presentation. Shoe mark of. Okay, uh, Shumar.com co-founders, very good presentation to begin with. I uh, like how you have, you know, very nicely prepared your plan, especially in regards to uh, the vision, mission, the description of the business, and uh, the marketing and selling areas. Okay, it's also very impressive to see how you're starting small, but you have high vision of uh, generating employment in the days to come. But uh, I am, uh, I have a few questions. Let me, you know, just lay it out all at once in order to save time. First is, uh, regarding the quality that you have mentioned for the you know, different copies that you have for the shoes that you'll be selling. Like, you have mentioned the numbers such as 10, 7, 5 quality, right? That I don't know. Also, if you can, you know, uh, share what it is about, uh, that would be great. That is one. Second, mm, 
regarding the reselling uh, plans that you have to recruit, I think, some non-employed, non unemployed people as well as students, if you can also explain a little about it, it would be good. And third, though most areas have been covered, I am quite concerned about you know, the financial projections that you have shown. So if you can you know, uh, quickly summarize on those three areas, it would be good. Thank you. Okay, the shoes, for these shoes, the qualities comes with the 10 name is the top quality, and then it's lower, 7 name, and 5 name, it comes with, uh, it comes with the less price and uh, it's a low quality for us. Okay, uh, 5 days. And uh, the next question was for the reselling, uh, reselling services, right? So, say for example, if I'm providing a reselling services, then I'll, uh, I'll click a picture, a professional photo shot of that particular shoes, and we'll update it on the WhatsApp, uh, WhatsApp or to WhatsApp group for any anyone those who want to be a reseller. We'll upload it on the WhatsApp group and along with the price details and all. So the the anyone uh, those who uh, the resellers they can add the profit margin of themselves and sell it on uh, WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook, anywhere they want. And th when the order comes, the, the customer will provide all the details and all. So these details will be provided to us. So we will directly ship this product to us to the customers who, uh, who buy the product. And uh, okay, this is the reselling services, how it works. And the next was this. Okay. Slides. This like summarize in a sense, right? Like. Uh, you, you have only provided uh, a three-year income statement, so we cannot get a full view of what it was, right? So if you can explain more about your uh, finances in detail. Okay, the great. investment. Uh, the and investment you have already shown. I mean, the sources, sources of income, right? Oh, so how are you going to make use of the ten legs that you are going to get in order to start up this business? Okay. Yeah. Actually, I don't remember, but it's already kind of mentioned in the project. Yes. But mm, okay, we are investing more of the money on the on buying the in, uh, on buying the shoes, the inventories. And then we'll be with uh, and on the salaries in a year. The salaries is more, and then the bank interest. We have taken the loan, so bank interest has been paid, and yeah, marketing areas as well. Okay, thank you, Amdam. Thank you, Miss. Uh, can you let me know uh, when are you reaching your break-even? Then break-even, I think, by three years. By three years, you will reach your break even. Yes. You are getting your profit in the first year only, and you will reach the break even in the third year. Yes, uh, the, there's an increase in the profit in the second year as well. Break even is a point where you're neither getting any profit nor you're making any loss. So it will be definitely before your first year. So, in which month you are planning to aim? Okay, okay. okay uh, According to the sales right there, it would be around Please, can, please let me know the first year sale. Your first year sale is nine lakh sixty thousand. No, no, no I mean the quantity. It's okay, Mrs. Six hundred. Ah, uh, sixteen hundred, I think. Uh, Six hundred unit. <laughs> By, I think by 7 to 8 months. By 7 to 8 months. So it's in a rough calculation. It should be a proper calculation actually. So the calculation is not easy. In your balance sheet, you have kept a cash amount of 5,1075. So what are you going to do with so much cash? Okay. The, the cash here, yeah. actually, the, that is after the first year, that has been there. To be honest, we, uh, we don't have much money. Knowledge about this policy, but we are proud of this. Because you have uh, written uh, your equipment, equipment and furniture seven thousand five hundred. So what are the furnitures you are going to buy? Tables, tables and chairs. Your fixed asset is coming up to 32,000. 
where you have a laptop of 23,000, a table of 5,000, and the office chair of 4,000. However, you have mentioned here just 7,500. So these are all your fixed assets, right? Your laptop, your table and chair, these are your fixed assets, right? So the same fixed asset should be reflecting in the balance sheet. Your balance sheet shows a furniture of only 7,500. So you need to check out with this, okay? Because whatever asset, you do not buy your laptop every year. Nah? So you have to check with that, okay? regarding the employability, okay, like whether it is whatever your planning is, can be good or not, okay. The first question, you say there are less uh, competitors, right? What about the big part, Mintra or Amazon? Is, okay, uh, you're getting issues that 70% discount, 75% discount. What makes your product so special that others do? That's what you want to try and come to you. So, sir, see, in Flipkart, Amazon, and now they don't deal only in the shoes. They deal with every product, right? That is one thing. And another thing, even though they mention the offers, their prices are high. Because they, they don't want to get low. Their prices are higher than what we give, right? Because we are directly taking from the wholesalers, in from the other states. So, I, uh, yes, the prices are higher than, lower than them for us. Can you go to the product? Product and services. Product, product. Product and services. Okay, you said delivery in stage within 4 to 5 days. Within 48 to 72 hours in the districts and neighboring districts and 15 to 12 day business days all over India, right? Then go to your distribution technique. You're planning to use this, BTBC, Blue Dot, E-Cart, Delivery, Indian Post. Yes, sir. Do you know all of the work? Yes, sir. We have done some research on that in, an, uh, in our area, and we'll find out. How much delivery charges? Delivery charges? Per day? Okay. It's delivery. How much they charge for one single shoe? Delivery? Okay. Per kg, it costs maximum of 200 days, so shoe, it will not reach 200, uh, 100 of kg. So we take it as an average 150 for every maximum 150. Did you really go for research? Yes, sir. Delivery, they don't do. No, no, uh, sir. Actually, sir, they said uh, go to the app and check. Mm -hmm. But the thing is that they said only in average this will be the price, the owner's tip. Do you know delivery and uh, delivery and e card in Nagaland, they don't do all work. Only Blue Dart and DTPC and Indian Post does that. And Indian Post, why yeah. people don't? Select that is because it's very slow. Blue dart why people don't opt for is because it's too expensive. DTDC, I'm just not so sure about that. It's just it's maybe, very new. It's very new. Maybe just seven to eight months ago, DTDC office was established in Nagaland. If you're really planning for this one, well, you have to have your own delivery technique. You say uh, logistic or something, right? Yes. You say logistic or something. Any company that you're planning to approach for this? No, we have uh, we haven't planned for that, but those who worked the best will go with that. So we have just done a normal research now. If you're really planning to open up, please go through all these ways. Sure, sir. And mainly for your competitors. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. slight change in the sequence. We come for uh, become sixth semester we'll be presenting after the break. But now become fourth semester we'll be presenting. The first team is Kavi and Abhi. So become fourth is Kavi.
A very good morning to one and all, respected development judges, teachers, my seniors, juniors, and all my mates. So, um, most of the people in India prefer home-made food. And like, furthermore, uh, many of them have to stay further from their house and relocate their place from one place to another. And like, because of that, they have to leave their hometown and most of them, most of, most of them, they have difficulties uh, with their day to daily meals and because of that they had a lot of health issues so with the team just me from become fourth semester present you our business plan that is Nisana lunchbox okay what is Nisana what is Nisana lunchbox it is a home based defense service business where we provide individuals who are living far away from home with clean, healthy, fresh, and home-cooked meals. We deliver six to seven days a week. Our mission is to deliver food with reasonable price in such a way that the customers will feel the food they are having in home. Having is homemade and hygienic. Our vision is to be one of the leading and best catering services in Nagaland. Tagline. Our tagline is, life is healthy when you are full. Nisana, our lunchbox competition is restaurants, takeaways, and fast food. Our lunch, but we promise local, fresh, and cheap treats and opportunities. Okay, the weakness, the only weakness we have is lack of variety of availability of foods, price variability of farmers market, and unpredictability, which is weather, vehicle breakdowns external environmental forces. Our strengths are, we can tackle our weakness with this, which is contracts with institutions, companies, etc. Send menu previews to customers prior to month with nutrition facts, labels, and information. Rule for growth of our company. And the last one is create nutrition education opportunities in community, etc. Our marketing strategies will be referral marketing, the second one is direct channel of distribution, and advertisements through social media, community events, etc. <coughs> Our targeted customers will be college students and young adults, working professionals, and busy parents. Employability. In our company, uh, we'll be employing four cooks approx, three delivery assistants approx, Qualification, uh, most must know how to cook, should, should know, and how to uh, own a vehicle. Sorry? <laughs> should know how to cook and should own a vehicle, two wheelers. Packaging and pricing will be in two different, uh, three different varieties. One will be small, which is 100 rupees per pack. The large one will be 200. And it can be in two types single purchase or a monthly subscription. Our break even analysis is the startup made an estimate, estimation to earn a 10% profit after every two months due to the increase in sales. And 30% of every profit earned will be reinvested after every two months for three consecutive years, that is 36,000 and 39,600 and 51,480 respectively. Salaries for cooks and delivery assistants will be 3000 and 2000 respectively. For the first year, the startup is estimated to earn a profit of Rs. 4,20,000. Like first year, the profit is estimated to increase by 10% after every two months for the second year, so the monthly profit will be 66000 During the second year, two cooks and two delivery assistants will be employed. The profit for the second year is estimated to be at least 31,600 rupees. 
The profit as, is estimated to increase by 30% for the third year due to successful promotions. The first and second year profit will be invested for the installation of app and website. By the third year, accumulated profit are projected to be 11 lakhs 48,800 rupees. Our three year projection is the first year, our revenue is 4 lakh 20,000. Expenses will be 10 lakhs. Monthly profit is 60,000. Profit due to date is uh, 5 lakh 80,000. Uh, in the first year, we'll be in loss since we are uh, investing 10 lakhs. Even though we are uh, we accumulated a profit of 5 lakh 80,000. The second year, our revenue is 8 lakh 31,600 and expenses is 5 lakhs 33,600. The profit to debt is 2 lakhs 58,000. Our third year projection is, uh, revenue is 11 lakhs 48,400. Expenses is 6 lakhs 44,880. Since we will be reinvesting 30% from every profit of two months. And our monthly profit is 85,800. The profit to date will be 5,3520. The final capital is, uh, the fixed capital R, rupees 10 lakhs, rupees 3 lakhs for assets, loose tools, etc. 3 lakhs for edible foodstuffs, 2 lakhs for wage and salaries, and 1 lakh for ad advertisement, 1 lakh for legal procedures. This is the uh, graphical projection of our three years uh, business profit. And this is the balance sheet. This is our uh, second year balance sheet. This is the third year financial year. And what can you expect from our Nishana, Nishana last book? First is women employment, third, second, part-time jobs, and the third is reasonable wages and salaries. Our future uh, upcoming upgrades are franchise, installation of apps and websites. Why Nissana Lunchbox? Because you can save money without sacrificing the taste. It will reduce your environmental food step, promote community health and wellness through a nutritionally balanced and sustainable delivery, delivery services. To first, uh, tired of eating the same food every time, no worries, this is our lunchbox, it's there. It will provide you with variable, healthy options anytime you want, just a call away. Super busy to make your lunch for your child, no worries, this is our lunchbox will save your time. It will, make five min it will take you five minutes to order our lunch. Worry that your children are not consuming that your children and you yourself is not consuming the right amount of nutrition at a school, institution, etc. No worries, this is lunch box is there. <laughs> Get ready to energize working by eating healthy nutrition meals without going through the hassle of making one every day. This is lunch box is there. We can keep in touch to our website, uh, Instagram page and also our social media, Facebook account, our email and our numbers. Thank you. This is Ali Kala and Kavi Chopi from the Nisana Lunch Board. Thank you. Okay, now, questioning time. <laughs> Hi, Tim Tashmish. That's a cute name. Um, so, Nisana lunch box, boxes, right? Um, my first question to you is, you did mention about, uh, under the packaging and pricing, you mentioned about how to avail your services, right? Can you go to that slide? One of the first few slides. Yeah, over there. Huh. So, uh, you have given two options for your customers. One is through single purchase and second is monthly subscription. Yes, now, I'm interested in knowing about this more in detail because I am hardly keeping up with you know, my uh, lunch, uh, daily lunches. So, uh, would you maybe throw more light on if I go for single purchase, how do I do that? What are you know, the details? And also for monthly subscription, what do you suggest? 
uh, it will be good if you go for a monthly subscription because we will be providing a weekly and monthly basis menu. It will be changing uh, every day, uh, in the weekdays and monthly, and we will be providing a certain amount of nutrition or carbohydrates that you need in a day. We will be calculating that one like. Uh, and put it in your lunch box and if you have any kind of allergies or you can't tolerate spiciness or saltiness will be adjusting in that uh, when you order it and we will be asking for your feedbacks and also since I told that we will be changing the menu every day that means you don't have to worry about it, uh, what we will eat because it will be the best one out of every day and a surprise for you whenever you open your lunch box <laughs> That's appealing. However, uh, can I also know what are the options on the single purchase? How much do I have to pay? And are we going to get the you know, same features that we get under monthly subscriptions? Yes, uh, but it, since it is a single purchase, uh, you won't have the like. You will be getting the. You will also be getting the lunch box, but uh, the menu will be same according to. For example, on Monday we have a vegetarian menu. So since you ordered it Monday, we'll be giving you the same vegetarian food on that particular day. Okay. Um, so you have these boxes in again under you know the same uh, category. Small boxes in 120 and large 200. So if I go for monthly subscription, am I getting the small package or the large one? It's up to you. But the price will remain yes, the same. The price will remain the same. Thirty six hundred. Yes. Don't you think that's unfair, especially for the customer? Are you sure? Um, for the monthly subscription, you don't have to pay like money for every purchase. That's the. Uh, uh, for a month, you can get anything you want, either during the weekends or in the weekdays. You don't have to sus uh, subscribe or have to pay for everyday purchases when you have the monthly subscription. The delivery charges will be free if you go for a monthly purchases. And for a small and not smaller. Single purchases, uh, you have to pay the delivery charges. It can be our marketing tactics to go for a monthly subscription. But then if someone is not satisfied with the, one have to be satisfied with their purchase. So for me, for example, I want to try, I would not go monthly purchase at the first go. Maybe I would like to order four or five times at a single purchase and then I would like to go for the monthly purchase. In that case, if you charge this much high, then I might not go for that. If you, we will provide certain bonuses and samples too. Uh, since you said that you want to try and after that you will go for the monthly subscription so if you order the like three to four times or five to six times a month we will be giving you sometimes a 10% offer 10% off in your next purchase or sometimes a, a free meal uh, when you purchase for the again another time seven or eight times and after that, I'm sure you will go for the monthly subscription. <laughs> <laughs> the answer does not seem really convincing because when you enter market for the first time, it's very important that you plan nicely. Okay, I think you're not very uh, sure how to really enter the market given your marketing and your selling skills. Achha, uh, to the next question, you, have, you, you do have uh, your SWOT analysis prepared. Can you go to that slide? Um, I am confused here because the heading says threats and opportunities, but you only have your weaknesses and strengths points. So are they the same? Threats, opportunities, are they equal to weaknesses and strengths? Yes. Uh, um, yes, for... Uh, when we googled it, it was same, so we just... <laughs> 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 yes, you went and did the wrong search, I think. Because traits and opportunities about. are not equal to weaknesses and strengths. So maybe you can work on it too. All right. Yes, ma'am. Can you please go to the finance part? <laughs> <laughs> 
No, 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 no. Yeah. You have a capital of 10 lakh, and out of 10 lakh, you will pay your wages and salaries also. Money from your capital, you will pay your wages and salaries. Yes, ma'am. No. <laughs> okay, ma'am. From capital, <laughs> from capital, you don't pay that. And can you go to the previous slide? You have said something 10% profit after every two months. And can you please explain that? Because these words, I'm quite confused with that. It should be something which is very like clean. And I'm not getting what you are explaining here. Can you please explain that once again? <laughs> Uh, all the three years or yeah so uh, so our estimation for the first year profit is 10 percent so you wrote after every two months money after every two months of profit which we get we will reinvest the 30 percent in our profit for the 10 percent profit of work, 10 of work. which we get in the first month but then you wrote in the first year it's loss, no? In the first year, the negative balance indicates loss. We are mind, uh, subtracting the expenses and revenues. But uh, since the expenses are 10 lakhs, we are subtracting, so we are getting 5 lakh 80,000. Or else the, our profit till the, uh, for the first year is 5 lakh 80,000. This but since we are subtracting with the expenses, it's coming out. Quite. This negative balance of five lakh eighty thousand does it include the ten percent of profit uh, that you're reinvesting? Yes. You said like one way you're saying is profit, other way you're saying loss. Mm. They won't be providing monthly subscription and they won't be giving no, you they, the they have daily they services. They have. And did you they won't be changing their menus every now and then like us. <laughs> did you did a study of your competitors? Yes. How many you have like this, your company in the market? Uh, lunchbox there is none. Lunchbox? Okay, okay. There is. Local, local yeah. One is located nearby this. Uh, New market only. Uh, most of them provide only takeouts. So
very good morning to you all, respected judges, teachers, and friends. We are Team Undivided from the Comfort Semester, and we present to you with your heart swift, swift repair at your service. Now, Repair Heart is a service provider and we provide repairing services to all of your gadgets, electronic gadgets ranging from mobile phones, laptops, maybe fans, home appliances, home decorations, and more. Uh, Repair Heart is one of a kind out here in Timapur. And why is it so? What makes us different? It is because we provide home servicing and home delivery, as well as in-app service. So there is no need for you to move an inch from your house. Just connect with us and we'll be at your doorstep. Now, like every business person and entrepreneurs, we need to study the problems and come up with solutions. And that's what we did. We did a survey and we came up with the majority, uh, majority problems that the people face. And these are the top four. Expensive, unavailability of parts, delay in repairing, poor quality of service. And our solutions will be given. The main objectives of Repair Hut is, of course, to earn profit and to provide swift quality service to our client to provide, to create a strong customer base cus consisting of private uh, professional clients all over Nagaland. And also to solve all problems arises in our field and provide quick solutions to all customers. If you look at five, by achieving compatibility with many manufacturers and models as possible, keeping our knowledge base up to date, seven, maintaining the professional service and personal care we offer to our customers, and last but not the least, establish our status as sector leaders by providing the highest quality of service as possible. And what makes, uh, what can make Repair Hot success? It is swift and high quality work, home service and delivery, in-app service, easy to communicate, and professional customer care. And our mission statement is to provide swift and quality electronic gadgets repair at the doorstep of individual, household, and organization, ensuring that your electronic gadgets are always in good shape. And our vision statement, it is to establish a standard and world-class electronic gadgets repair at the doorstep of every client that our services and brand will be accepted in Dimapur, Nagaland, and other states, cities in India. Now, I'll be discussing on service. The service says that the repair hut provides our in-app service, home service, laptop service, mobile phone repair, electrical fittings, electronic home appliance and decoration. Before I go further into it, we have made an aid that will help you grab some idea about what Repair Hut is.
Hello? Okay, so that was a small intro about RA. We look for a better, faster way to connect our clients with the right and best quality services. So our team constantly strives to simplify and speed up the processes for you. That's why we are thrilled to introduce you the Repair Hub app that is shown in the slide. We are putting up information at your fingertips and matching our best services to the client. With the Repair Hub app, you can now view all your repairing details and solution in one place, anytime, anywhere. So, so this is the home page of our app. The first Okay, so this is the home page of our app. The first is the AC repair, the second electrical, the third is home appliance. Under AC repair, we have installation, service, repair, and shifting. If our client wants to con contact us regarding the installation, they can simply click on the installation and they can contact us through WhatsApp, calls, or email. The next we have the electrical. Under electrical, we have MC panel, circuit, wiring, switch, socket, inverter, fan, cooler, and light. Similarly, you can just click on the inputs and you can contact us through WhatsApp, call, or email. And under home appliance, we have washing machine, microwave, refrigerator, television, computers, mobile, and gazers. The same goes for that too. So, finding the best quality services has never been easier. So, download the Repair Hub app today and find your better quality services or solution from us. That is the Repair Hub. the financial structure and summary of our business. Uh, financial summary. Repair Heart is seeking a total funding of rupees 10 lakh, out of which 15% of the total fund will be invested and 80% capital will be utilized for funding, capital expenditure and local build-out salaries, mar marketing expenses and working capital requirements. Sources of funds. We have classified our sources of funds into two categories, which is personal contribution and bank from law. Personal contribution consists of 30,000 from each member, whereas the remaining 850,000 will be uh, appealing from bank. <coughs> business summary. As our business is about partnership firm, I would like to highlight the partners and your <coughs> position in the business. Partner one, C. Dinal Kong. Home service department, under him, there will be three employees. Uh, <coughs> partner two, Subdev Das. Uh, IT department, there will be one employee under him. Whereas third partner, Easy Delay, computer service department, under her, there will be one employee. Partner four, Suresh Kumar Dhabur, that is me, repair department, under me, there will be two employees. Uh, the last partner, that is Priyanka Chetri. She will look after the finance department and under her, you will be one employee. Startup summary. As we all know that finance is the lifeblood of a business. Thus, it becomes significant to highlight classification of finance as where we are investing, spending, or how much. Classification of finance in our business. 
uh, if we are looking from the funding level, that is uh, rent 20,000 for three months, vehicle uh, four wheeler one, two wheeler two, a total of four lakh six thousand, laptop ninety six thousand, furniture fifty two thousand, uh, new schools fifteen thousand, salary for eight employees six thousand per month. Uh, 48,000 at development expenses, 10,000 advertisement expenses, 10,000 patent rights, 15,000 other miscellaneous expenses, 15,000, and the remaining out of our capital will be reserved as uh, for future use. Financial plan. The financial plan of our business focus on the growth of our business. Mm. First is projected profit and loss account. In the first year, after critical examination and analyzation of our business, we assume a loss of 141,000 in the first year, whereas in the second year, there is a profit of 162,000. Whereas in the third year, we see a profit of 651,430. Projected balance sheet. Uh, balance sheet. <coughs> in the first year, that is 31st March 2023, we see that our balance sheet tell is at at like 49,000. Whereas in the second year, 31st March 2024, our balance sheet tell is at 10 like 62,000. In the final year, that is uh, 31st March 2025, our balance sheet tell is at 17 lakhs 51,430. Thus, the overall financial structure and summary of our business shows a growth in the future which will help us in raising loan from the bank. So we conducted a market analysis. The market analysis We conducted the market analysis, so the answers are this. Uh, we have asked two questions. One, would you opt for home service or go to the shopping uh, shop for repairing? The 77.8% of the respondents uh, were in favor of home service, and the 22.2% of them were in favor of going to the repairing shop. After that, the second one was, uh, would you willing to pay extra charges if your electronic machine, home appliances, mobile laptop is repaired at home? So 81.0% uh, were in favor of uh, yes, and the other remaining were in favor of no. After the our straight spot analysis, the strengths of our business are after conducting the market analysis uh, the, and knowing our financial capital, we have come to a realization that our strengths, our weakness, our opportunity, and what would be our threats. What is our strength? Our core strength lies in the power of our teams, a team with excellent qualification and experience in various niche areas in the electronic repair service industry. Also, we provide home service and delivery unlike other competitors. Our weaknesses as a new startup, it might take some time to break in the market and gain acceptance, especially from the top profile clients. Our opportunities, no doubt the opportunities in the electronic repair servicing industry is that there are massive considering the number of individuals and corporate officials who own electronic gadgets. The, our threats are just like any other just like any other businesses, one of the major threats that we are likely going to face in a, is an uh, economic downturn. It is affected that the economic downturn affects purchasing, selling power, and other threats that may likely confront us as the arrival of a new competitor. In the same application, where our target market exists and who may want to adopt the same business model as us. And also, there are startup offers and discounts. Uh, provided three months for startup offers and 10% discounts for every repair that we do. There are also pricing strategy uh, that is all the prices will be below the average market rate and there will be advanced payment and you see that there are technical issues as well as here so if you have problems like that top like this today please come to us at Repair Heart. Thank you very much. So Repair Hub team, it's a very nice presentation. Yes. 
it's also a very new business plan which you have studied. Uh, before going to question, I will just uh, ask you one thing. Do you have any competitor present in Dimapur? Like providing services? Like this? Yes, no, they are not. Are you sure? sure? I am 100% sure. Are you 100% sure? I am 100% sure. Okay. <laughs> are you a friend of mine? And he have an app, okay? And in that app, uh, he have list of uh, mechanic, you can say, okay? And someone who install the app, they can directly go to the repair section and they can contact the mechanic, okay? So you have one company. In From that regard, yes. And then does he do all the services of no, electronic no, no. It's, gadgets? It's, it's in regard to everything, okay? The app which he have developed, it's just an app. He's not a competitor actually in real sense. It's just an app. And in that app, he have someone who needs mechanic, they can contact there. Someone who wants to go to a restaurant in Dimapur, they will get details there, everything like that. So not to your sector, but kind of like that he have something. So there are something like that also, okay? okay but still then, we are one of our kind. <laughs> Okay, regarding your, uh, to your employability, okay? How are you going to find all these technicians? AC repair tech, you'll need a technician to repair, right? Okay, so regarding that, sir, since we'll be giving them a uh, high salary, first of all, high salary, that is how we will attract the workers or say the employees. And then we won't be just employing a particular person. A particular person with a talent to do form repairing AC, something, a person who is capable of doing three, four or two, three works at a time will be employing that. So how are we getting that? We are getting that through, the first is salary, obviously, we will provide them salary. Apart from that salary, we will give them commission, say, as per the work. If they do, uh, uh, if they do extra work, so we'll let them, we'll give them commission. So I think there are sectors, there are repair sectors, they have employees, but they don't do that. But um, So we'll get employability by uh, through uh, newspapers, uh, interviews, uh, offers. And as well as we like, uh, we are searching for multitask person like the teachers of Tetsu College who does multitask scientist instead of teaching. <laughs> so that's it. Okay, uh, you have mentioned that the salary that you provide to your employees will be attractive, attractive ones, and better than the rest of you know, the ones we provide in the market. So do you have an idea how much repair men get in the market? market? <coughs> I guess it's three to four, and but our uh, review hut is providing around six thousand, and there will be increment of bonuses. You mentioned eight thousand, like it's not wrong, eight thousand. Six. Six. Okay. Six. 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 Six.
and a service industry is much more difficult to manage than a product or an industry which has tangible features. So how are you going to uh, undertake and challenge the risks and the problems and threats that exist in the market? In the service industry, in particular. It, it is true the service uh, industry we have we have problems. But what we are doing is, all all of us have electronic gadgets at our place, and there are always uh, one or two. There are always a, they are always broken down. So what they do? What people do? They come to towns as uh, because they, there, is, there is no service. They will. We are hundred percent sure that they will avail our service, and there will be a profit. And if my partners would like to share more on that. Okay, you are 100% sure that they will be availing your service and not, not your competitors. Yes. What is your USP, your unique selling proposition? The home delivery service and uh, the delivery. Okay, so if you are going for home delivery, that means um, it might be expensive, more expensive yes. than the uh, existing. Yeah, we have... Uh, we did a survey on that. Uh, it will be more expensive if we provide service. And uh, the people who surveyed says yes, they will avail to our service even though the, uh, the expense can get higher. So, allow me to show you. Where did you conduct the market research? To all over uh, in Nagaland. Uh, of course, Dimapur, many, uh, there are many from Dimapur, but as in Nagaland, as in, there are some from Kohima, some from the uh, Perrin district, some from another states. And this, uh, this is the market strength. Uh, will you be willing to pay extra charges if electronic machines, home appliances, mobile laptop is repaired at home? 81% say yes. So we believe our service will be one, well, yeah. Okay, you said that you will be rising eight lakh fifty thousand from bank. Yes. Will the bank give you? Yeah. Uh, yes, there are certain schemes uh, launched by our government. Which scheme? Uh, first is uh, Prada Mantri Mudra Yojana. Okay, how much? Your, what is the minimum amount? Uh, there, there are three long service under that. Shishu and. Uh, Short and Tarun. Under Tarun, we get avail a loan for 5 lakh to 10 lakh at a rate of 11.5 percent to 20 percent. What are the criteria for that? Uh, the criteria for that is that we should be uh, minimum age should be 20 years and it should be a startup. Did you visit the bank and talk with any of the bank personnel? Uh, for now, uh, as per the online uh, formalities, we have went through, but in the future. You should visit the bank because what is there online, it's not actually visible, visibly offline. Okay. Achha, in your profit and loss account, you have mentioned commission received. What kind of commission received? Uh, as you all know, that while providing service, uh, sometimes our customers, by getting happy with our works, they provide some commission to our workers. So they will provide us and will make a calculation as part that and will write, will take this as a revenue for us. So, are you sure whatever commission the employ, the workers receive, they will hand it over to you? Uh, as uh, our business is a systematic one, we'll make a uh, bill, whatever we receive, whether it's a commission, small amount, or our service charge. So if they make uh, such bills, they will be able to understand and learn that they have earned any commission, so that we can include in our profit and loss account in the financial year. When did you achieve your break even? Uh, we haven't mentioned in the report, but as per our projection, we are achieving it in in the uh, one after one year, four months. Because in the first year, we are projecting a loss. After one year, four months, you will achieve your break even. Break even. Meanwhile, let me also ask something. Um, your organizational structure, I was going through your organizational structure, and all of your partners, like five of you in total, right? Do you have anyone know about you, about five of you? The five of us. Yeah. We are the head, yes. All five of you are the heads. Yes, exactly. You don't have, you know, uh, maybe another person who will be above your level to maybe oversee the entire thing. No, there no. might be some confusion because five founders, five partners running a huge like this, 
Yeah, true. But uh, we are paying the same capital as well as we are uh, looking after different departments. But when we come together, we are sitting in one room and our salary will be the same. Our power of discussion and uh, the, the business discussion we do will be the same. Can you go to the budget portion? I hope there will be extra marks for extra questions. <laughs> So you wrote your budget as in 10 lakh, right? Yes, and out of the 10 lakh, you are paying salary also? Yes, In the first uh, first month, uh, from our capital, we will be paying salary for the first month only. And after that, from the revenue we generate. For the first month? For the first month, we pay from our capital. So this is the first month you are utilizing entire 10 lakh. And you just have a cash in hand of 3 lakh 30,000. This uh, is for the first year, one year. First year? First year, one year. Thank you. Thank you. We are here.